And the superstorm isn't just affecting areas along the East Coast tonight. It's also hitting closer to home. News Channel 9's Kyra Rogers joins us now with a roundup of how Sandy's affecting the South. Kyra. Kim, Latricia, Superstorm Sandy may be losing strength as it plows into New York and Pennsylvania, but a winter storm in the Tennessee Smokies is just beginning. Strong wind and these snow showers are expected to continue through tomorrow morning. The highest elevation saw more than seven inches. And for one Florida woman, it was her first time to ever see snow. Awesome. Totally awesome. <laughs> Sorry, it's my first time. <laughs> and two days ago, we were up here in the autumn leaves, beautiful, and now this. But if you're thinking of heading down there, you might not be able to. The roads on the east end of the park are closed. But snow isn't the only thing that it's affecting Tennessee from Sandy. It's one that you might not think about, the Internet. Large companies like Apple, Google, and Amazon have data centers along the eastern snowboard. If the storm takes those centers out, it will affect customers of Netflix and other online services. If indeed those backup generators or that secondary or, uh, power source were to go down, then you literally would lose power and all your computing infrastructure that you have in that data center um, would power off. Large corporations spend hundreds of millions of dollars backing up data by copying it and moving it to other cities and states. And if you've been to Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, it probably didn't look like what I'm about to show you. Take a look at this. It's almost empty. And that's because they canceled almost 300 flights yesterday and nearly 100 more today. Most of the canceled flights were headed to destinations along the East Coast. As of now, nearly 10,000 flights around the world have been canceled due to Sandy. Kim, Latricia, back to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Kyra.